I promised another commenter a couple months ago some information about bird caging, and here I've got another comment about the same thing. I figure I better talk about it. I was hoping to have some examples. I have some more rigging to get out of the air, but I just haven't made the trip up with the tools to the grid to cut the cables. I'd already thrown away the old rusted ones that I was using in the other video, and I didn't get a close up of the bird caging. But I'm pretty sure that the other ends uh, attached at the grid have bird caging. What bird caging is, is when the strands of wire rope open up and they expand and they have hollow spots on the inside and they start to look like a bird cage. That's the name, bird caging. I brought some wire rope home with me with the intent of trying to demonstrate that and force it into bird caging, but I just don't have the tools here. Even if I were to put it under tension, I don't think I have the advice and the tools and the ability to stretch it open. These things would start to separate and you'd start to see air gaps in between. Bird caging happens for a number of reasons. Often it's an indication that that part of the rope was stressed, it's now lost its integrity, and that's now a potential point of failure. It can happen when you put your wire rope clips on or other termination points, especially if you don't properly support this end. And that is what is happening on the ends that I pulled out of that old rigging in that video from a couple months ago. There was no thimble on there. The end of the wire rope was getting pinched. And as it pinched, these wires were starting to separate and open open up. We don't want that to happen. If you use the thimble that is the correct size thimble for your wire rope, that's going to provide the correct amount of support around the bend as it makes that bend. If you use an undersized thimble, then you're going to stress out that joint and potentially cause failure, kinking, bird caging, or other stress. Whenever possible, I try to put these on without taking the nuts off, especially if I'm overhead where I could drop the nuts on someone. So if you can slide them on before you put your twist in them, So if we put our wire rope clips on properly, the first one will be snug up against that thimble and it will allow that thimble to do what it's supposed to do, which is to take the stress out of that bend and out of that kink. Other causes of your wire rope bird caging, other than stressors, could be that you're using the wrong sized rope with the wrong sized pulleys or loft blocks and head blocks or other sheaves. You want to make sure you're using the right size rope. You can use undersized, but you can't go oversized. If your wire rope is too big for the pulleys that you're using, that could cause, as it goes back and forth over the pulleys, it could cause it to unravel and bird cage. The wire rope we usually use in theater is designed to roll roll over pulleys, but not all wire rope is designed to roll over pulleys. So if you get the wrong kind of wire rope and you use it on your line sets and it's running over pulleys, it could cause that to bird cage. Anytime you see bird caging in your wire rope, you should take it out of service, at least take the section that's bad out of service if you can do that. Sometimes it requires taking the whole line of cable out of service because you need it to be a certain length. You can't splice two cables together on a line set that goes up and over and drops your battens down. That needs to be one continuous line of cable for each of your pick points. Take it out of service, replace it. If you find bird caging, you've got to find out what's wrong and what's causing it as well and eliminate the problem, not just replace the cable and then cause the bird caging to happen again. But if you see bird caging, if you see any opening up of these wires and strands, then that needs to be addressed and or taken out of service. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.